This all happened because Commissioner Kevin Warren made the announcement. He's good enough to join us now to talk about this. Commissioner, we talked a couple weeks ago. There were other things on our mind that were bigger in terms of importance than this right now. But now we're here on this schedule. Uh, let me ask you, why today as opposed to one week from now or a week ago? Why make the announcement now? I mean, when you reach a decision, uh, it's important to make an announcement. And uh, we just felt that from a collaborative basis, being in communication on a regular basis with our chancellors, our presidents, our athletic directors, our head football coaches, that uh, the time had come for us to make an announcement. I mean, this allows us to be able to uh, just take an, another step uh, in this entire process. I mean, this is a complicated time, complicated world that we're living in with the COVID-19 pandemic. And so what we're doing is relying on the expert advice of our medical advisors, you know, we have our uh, Big Ten Emerging Infectious Disease Committee and uh, and also all of our other Big Ten doctors and, and trainers. And so we made a vow early on that first and foremost, we would put the health, the safety and the wellness of our student athletes at the center of all of our decisions. So we felt that this was an appropriate time to make this announcement. Well, and it seems in that specific regard, Commissioner, that if you control the games, you control whom everyone is playing, and that means you can have uniform testing, it would seem, for everyone, not only you're playing, uh, but everyone on your team as well. How important was that in this decision? Well, I, I, when you make these decisions, you just have to, to, to look at the uh, all of the issues. And one of the things that was most important to us was the flexibility of, of scheduling all the operations. You know, it's much easier if uh, we're just working with our Big Ten institutions uh, from a scheduling standpoint, from a traveling standpoint, you know, all of those issues that go into uh, having our student athletes compete. And um, because otherwise, when you when you start working outside your conference, you put yourself in a position where there, there are enough issues that we're dealing with already, but then you add on top of it the issues of travel and and just the logistics associated with it. And so we felt that at the, at, at the end of the day, uh, this decision would allow us to, one, do the right thing by our student athletes, keep them at the forefront of all of our decisions, and make sure we create an environment to give us the best chance to play. I mean, one thing we have to, to realize that this is not a fait complete that we're going to have sports in the fall. Uh, we may not have sports in the fall. We may not have a college uh, football season in the Big Ten. And so we just wanted to make sure that this was a next logical step uh, to always to rely on our medical experts to keep our student athletes at the center of all of our decisions and make sure that they are as healthy as they possibly can be uh, from a, a mental, a physical and emotional health and wellness standpoint. You know, we mentioned flexibility a few times that not only works in testing, but I suppose Commissioner also works in you know, considering we don't know what the future would be, if a game had to be canceled or postponed a couple weeks in, you now have the flexibility to do that because it's a completely conference-only year, correct? Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a great point, and that's one of the things that we wanted to, to, to make sure that we had the flexibility. I mean, we're, you know, dealing with this pandemic, uh, not understanding how uh, COVID-19 is, is moving and moving in our society. Some days are better than the other. And we just felt by making sure that we kept uh, our scheduling, our games, our competition uh, in the Big Ten family, it would allow us the flexibility to get us in a better position to possibly play. And that's what we want to be with. The other thing that was important today about the announcement is that, one, all of our summer activities, we've made it very clear now that they will remain voluntary because, again, looking out for our student athletes. And then the other big thing is that any of our Big Ten student athletes uh, who decide not to participate in student athletics this year based upon COVID-19, that we're honoring their scholarship 100%. So their status on the team will not be impacted at all in a negative manner, uh, that, that they have that flexibility. And we just want to make sure that we do everything we possibly can and allow our medical experts uh, for, for us to, to, the, to give us advice uh, that we can listen to, that we can evaluate, and always do the right thing uh, for the health, safety, and wellness of our student athletes. I mean, so we're, we're, today's an interesting day, uh, to say the least. It's a lot of hours that goes into these decisions, uh, but I am very comfortable uh, that uh, on behalf of our chancellors, our presidents, our football coaches, all of our coaches, our student athletes, and, and our conference administrators, and, and also our 
our athletic directors that we did the right thing. And I always ask myself, you know, what's the wise thing to do? And as we sit here today, the wise thing to do was for us to not only create but announce a Big Ten conference-only schedule. And if the health, safety, and wellness of the players are in line that sports can happen this fall, there's going to have to be a schedule, and it's going to have to be new. When do you yeah. plan on announcing how many games will be played and who will be playing who, where, when, et cetera? Yeah, quite naturally. I mean, we're, you know, this is really where the work begins, you know, to make sure that we get all of our, our testing protocols uh, finalized, to make sure we get all of our medical and operational procedures finalized, but then also start working with our network partners. Um, and then, like you just alluded to, is from a scheduling standpoint to start working on various scenarios that will, will, will work. So um, over the next week or so, uh, we'll work through all of the, the scheduling uh, issues that we'll have to deal with uh, to make sure that, that we're always doing the best that we possibly can to keep our student athletes healthy and, and safe, and but also provide some great Big Ten football, hopefully in the fall, uh, to our fans. And uh, I know this has been a very, very interesting last four months, to say the least, on, on many levels. And, um, and so it's just, again, in, in my position, it's truly is a, an honor and a pleasure to, to have partners uh, like the Big Ten Network, but also to serve a great group of chancellors and, and presidents and work side by side uh, and work with you know, our, our wonderful head coaches and our athletic directors. And on my mind every day is as a parent uh, who has a son who's a student athlete, a football student athlete in college now, that I'm always thinking about, you know, what would I want to do for my son or my daughter or my grandson or my granddaughter and, uh, and I just want to make sure that every decision we make uh, honors that commitment that we've made to our student athletes that allows them to be students first and athletes second and provide an environment to them that is uh, safe and, and also uh, healthy. And so we felt like we had to make this decision. We made the decision. Um, and we're comfortable with our decision. And again, we're taking this, this pandemic on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I'm sure there'll be many more decisions that we'll have to make over the next uh, days, weeks, and months ahead. Commissioner, I can't imagine the amount of Zoom calls you've been on in the last few months and with a variety of people you've had to talk to. But specifically, I'm curious what your conversations have been, especially with regards to this topic about only playing conference games with other commissioners of other conferences. Yeah, one of the things that I, I would say that I uh, have always had throughout my career is to, one, make sure I over-communicate, and two, that I'm always transparent. So internally, uh, on a regular basis, I mean, we have conversations on a daily basis with our athletic directors, a weekly basis with many of our head coaches, especially our football coaches. And then uh, our other A5 commissioners, we also have daily conversations. And then I'm in regular contact uh, with all of our chancellors and presidents. We have meetings uh, on the calendar. And and not only aside of that, just communicating with them on a, on a regular basis. So one, to be transparent, two, to be um, always over communicate. And so a lot of these conversations that, you know, we've been talking about this for the last month. When, when you sit in a seat like this, you always have to make sure that you are always preparing for the what if scenarios. And many of which may never come to fruition. They may just end up in a binder or in a desk drawer or saved on a computer somewhere. But one good thing about, you know, working in the Big Ten, we have incredibly bright people who are astute, who understand this conference. And we have a long history of doing, doing the best that we can to do what's right. And so we've been looking at various scenario, scenarios. We'll continually look on a daily basis as far as what affords us an opportunity to do the right thing by our student athletes. So, yeah, there's been a lot of communication. You're right. There have been many, many, many hours of, uh, of Zoom calls and uh, just trying to communicate. I mean, this is what even makes this more difficult is the fact that we're having to do it in an environment. I mean, if we were in our office together and could walk down the hallway and, and huddle, huddle up and talk about these different things, you think about it. We have uh, our staff is, is spread around the country and, and uh, we have 14 incredible institutions spread over 11 states that goes from, from Nebraska to New Jersey. And so and also this is a time in the summer that the many people that we're dealing with our own family vacation. So we have all of those different issues that we're, we're dealing with. But by and large, one thing about, you know, the human race is that uh, uh, they have great hearts. 
Uh, we, we have great people in the Big Ten Conference. We're striving to always do the best that we possibly can to make the, the, uh, the most wise decision. And uh, the, this was a decision that we collectively had to come together on to say what really is the wise thing to do. And we felt that uh, today was the day for us to announce it. Now we can move forward and try to start putting all these other pieces in place from a scheduling standpoint, from an operational standpoint, from a testing protocol uh, standpoint, and all the other issues, that all the different things that we'll have to deal with with our network partners. And and also just, just working through with the, uh, with, with the return to campus and just making sure that our student athletes uh, stay as healthy and as safe as they possibly can, but also afford them an opportunity if we're so blessed to be able to play fall sports in the Big Ten. Well, here's hoping that the next time we are able to chat, Commissioner, it is with good news and that the steps that are needed to be made have officially happened. Commissioner Kevin Warren of the Big Ten, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. And again, I appreciate uh, your support, uh, the way uh, that uh, you all work and, and report the news and, and handle yourselves. And, and so it's, again, it's one of those times in society that I'm sure we'll look back and hopefully one day I have grandkids that will ask me, hey, what was that like? That was an interesting year. And so We'll keep doing the right thing. We'll keep uh, putting our student athletes at the first uh, and top of our list. And we'll always make sure that we look out for them and make sure that they are healthy and safe. So thank you for everything you do. I hope you're safe. I hope your family is safe. And I look forward uh, to when we talk again. So thank you. Thank you very much. Commissioner Kevin Warren.